Good morning. Good morning, guys. It's Allison with Upright and Caffeinated. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for joining me today. Um, today, I want to show you guys how to use stencil that you cut out with your Cricut with the Chalk Couture products. So I tried this the other day, and let me show you guys what I made. I love this. So I made this um, Days Until Disney sign. And the way I did this is the Days Until is actually part of the transfer from the Countdown to Christmas sign, which you guys, I'm giving this away. So um, I will leave the link in the comments. If you want to win this sign, all you have to do is sign up to win, and it's yours. I'm also giving another one away as soon as I hit 1,000 followers on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram yet, follow me over there. I will leave the link to my Instagram uh, in the comments as well. But the sooner I hit that 1,000 uh, followers, the sooner that sign is being given away. The other one is being given away on October 1st to whoever has signed up through the link that I will leave. But I digress. So the days until is the same part of the transfer here, days until, okay? But what I did was I created a stencil with my, um, with just the stencil line. This is that Aura Mask 813, 813, right? Yeah, Aura Mask 813, which is that stencil vinyl. Morning, Judy. Um, and what I did is I cut the word Disney and I cut out the ears, but I used my um, chocolate chalk couture chalk paste and I used a squeegee and I put it on there. So here's the thing. It does not look, the lines don't look as clean as they do if you use the chocolate couture transfer. So the reason is, is because this is actually a silk screen, whereas this you're using that squeegee and that chalk paste directly onto your board. There's nothing, there's no uh, barrier that that chalk paste goes into. It's, you're scraping it right across the board. So it's not gonna have that nice, um, even distribution of the paste, as you can see. But you guys, this looks pretty good. I think it looks fantastic, especially for our house. You know, we're counting down our days to Disney. So I can put, you know, 65 right there in the little circle. And then we'll just count down. And in fact, I thought I had a piece of chalk out here. You guys should see this table. It is a mess right now. Um, if I find the chalk, all right, just to show you guys what it looks like. Um, seriously, mess, hot, hot mess. Oh, well, it's around here somewhere. But basically that's all you do is you write with regular chalk how many days and you could do this so if you buy morning Sabra <laughs> if you buy that days until Christmas transfer you can basically count down the days until anything especially if you have a Cricut and you can cut out some stencil line up my chalk right underneath that so um so look you just count down the days. And that's all you do is just write in the days. And then to take this off, I mean, this one I can just use my finger. But again, that chalk paste, that chalk paste isn't going to come on unless I use water. So if you just use your finger or if you want to use a paper towel, wipe off the chalk in the middle. But that's how easy it is to use these to count down. Same with that days until Christmas sign. So right now, I don't even know how many days until Christmas. Let's say it's 74. I mean, I know it's probably not 74, but it's that easy. Wipe it off. You're not going to wipe off any of this. Wipe it off and do the next day. So let's get started. Good morning, Alicia. So right now I want to show you guys, let's, let's try with this aura mask. And this is an old stencil I did. Um, if you have seen my blog, I did a stencil for my front porch on a piece of wood. And this was around 4th of July. And this says, land of the free home of the brave. And it's got um, the United States in the middle. Oh, you can't see anything. Anyway, <laughs> that's what that was. I, I made two of them because I forgot to weld the script in the top. So um, that was kind of, I was like, eh, I'm going to end up throwing it away. But I thought maybe I could use the pieces for something else like today. This is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I am going to weed out the inside of the letters, okay? So basically all you're going to be left with is a stencil, all right? So we're going to do that. And if you have a, a Cricut, if you've ever made a sign with a Cricut, 
you know, you know how to do this. But if you don't have a Cricut, these are the kinds of things you can do with a Cricut. So you create these things, anything you want, in what's called Cricut Design Space, which is um, the application that you use to create words, you can create images, you can, you know, like create anything you want. And you can buy things too. So like those Mickey ears, if, if you didn't want to take the time to make them, you can buy them for like $1.99. Or you can buy the Cricut Access, and there's different levels of the Cricut Access, um, but I think um, if you have like the Ultimate Access or whatever the top one is, I think you have like everything that's in their library. Okay, so I weeded out the inside of the letters, so all I'm left with is the stencil. All right, so, I'm gonna move this towel, I don't need that quite yet. So now I'm gonna put this right onto my board, and to do that, when you're doing when you're using this stuff with Cricut, use transfer tape. It makes it so much easier. Because if I didn't use the transfer tape, let me tell you guys, in between the B, see those little tiny, the little inside parts, and then in between the A and the E, these little tiny pieces. If I were to just peel this up and stick it down, those pieces would not peel up because they're not connected to anything. So use transfer tape, and what that's going to do, throwing stuff all over the place here, what that's gonna do is it's gonna pick up this whole word all as one so that it doesn't look jumbled and it doesn't, it just lays nicely. So look, okay, I'm gonna stick that right down. And we're gonna do that, just scrape it on, make sure it's on real tight. And then you remove your transfer tape. And the transfer tape that I use um, I buy it in bulk on Amazon, but you guys, it lasts forever because you can reuse your transfer tape. So I don't know how many times I've used this piece so far, but that's like a really good size piece. And what I do is I just put it right back on the, some backing and just keep it in my, my little craft closet. Um, which I need to talk to you guys about crafting storage. If you are a crafter, I would love to know what you use for storage because we went to Michael's over the weekend. And if you don't know, Michael's is having a huge sale, huge, huge sale. I bought a whole bunch of those wrapped canvases because I like doing those reverse canvas signs and I'm going to add some reverse canvas signs to my Etsy shop. But um, the uh, craft storage bin, like that big one that, that has like the color drawers that's on wheels, that is on sale for $50. And I'm kind of like, dang, that's a good deal. It's $139 normally. And I was like, that's a really good deal. And the, the inside drawers will fit your 12 by 12 um, sheets of vinyl. And if you have, um, you know, if you use that, like those books of scrapbook paper for paper crafts on your Cricut or something, it holds all those perfectly. So I'm kind of like, oh, really need that because right now my stuff is just kind of thrown in my office and it's kind of a mess. Good morning, Heather. Good morning. Okay. So I'm just mixing up my chalk paste right now and then we are going to do this. And again, this is not a chalk control transfer. This is just, um, stencil vinyl or a mask 813 that I normally use that I cut with my Cricut. I normally use it on wood sign. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like if you use it with the chalk couture. Okay. So I'm taking my paint. I'm doing this exactly like I were if, if I were using um, an actual chalk couture transfer. Okay. So the first thing, if you try this, you're going to notice it, it just doesn't, um, if you scrape too hard, it's going to come right off. Okay, so unlike the, the chalk couture transfer, it, it's not an even distribution. I think that's just the best way I can explain how it works. It's just not an even distribution. So I'm just scraping this on. So this is almost completely covered. And I'm trying to get an even coverage on these but it's real hard only because um, 
Ooh, yeah, see that one I scraped way too hard and all of the chalk paste just kind of came right up. Because again, the chalk couture transfers are a silk screen, so it's a, there's a barrier. You're, you're actually pushing that chalk paste through a silk screen, whereas right now what I'm doing with this, I'm just trying to scrape it on and get it in between that stencil, okay? So let's try this. Oh, I am a mess today. Good morning, Mom. Hi. <laughs> okay. Let's try this. And I think my comments aren't looning quite right. So, all right. Okay, so I'm going to do this just the same way I do the chalk couture transfer. I'm going to just peel it right off. Other than the fact that I cannot now reuse this. This is um, stencil vinyl. It peels apart. It breaks apart. That is not something that is reusable. So that is a one-time use thing. And then I now have to weed out all those tiny little pieces. Remember the inside of that E and the inside of the B and the A? So I'm going to carefully weed these out as to not um, mess up the chalk paste that is still drying because you guys this is still very wet the chalk paste goes on wet it dries to the touch but right now this is still very very wet because i just did it and these usually take a few minutes to get dry okay so there we go so that's how it looks like so you guys can see it is not an even distribution. It almost has a shadowing effect where I went, um, like I scraped with my squeegee a little harder, I guess. So um, just so you can see, hey, Joanna, good morning. I don't know if it's morning where you are, girl. You're across the, across the world. Um, okay, so that's how that looks. And that is, again, not using a chocolate torch um, uh, Cricut stencil vinyl that was Aura Mask 813, which is what I use for all my stencil vinyl. Um, anytime I'm doing a, a wooden project, um, I, I love that stencil vinyl. It's great to use with acrylic paints or chalk paints or anything like that. Um, put it on with like a foam brush. And because of the stickiness of this stencil, you're not going to have that bleeding that, that you would with a traditional stencil that you would um, lay down, tape down, you know, pick up. You're not going to have the bleeding. So I really like that. I want to show you guys one thing because this is what I'm working on now. I am working on making these reverse canvases. And this is just the inside. So the frame part I have yet to stain. But that's just the inside of that reverse canvas. And this is chalk paste. That is not paint. That, that is not ink. It is paste. It is just chalk paste. So the reason I did the chalk paste on fabric, a lot of people would question, why are you doing chalk paste on fabric? You don't want to do chalk paste on fabric that you're going to wear because it's going to wash right off. So anything like a towel or um, a hat or a shirt or a pillow, any of those things you want to use the couture ink and then you want to heat set it and that makes it completely permanent. You can wash it with everything. This is going up on a wall. Nobody's going to touch this, except for maybe my kids. <laughs> Nobody's going to touch this. No one's going to wash this. It's getting put back in a frame, and it's not going to get touched. So using chalk paste on this is perfectly fine. And it's not wiping off. I mean, it's dry. But I love using the chalk paste on the canvas. And this is that, like, the I guess it's like a gesso-covered part. That was, like, the outside, and then it had the wood, and it was wrapped around like that. These are those cheap ones you buy at Michael's. I cut the frame off, I did the inside, and this is a soft canvas side. And then I'm gonna uh, stain or paint the frame, and then um, the frame will go on the outside, right here, and then I will staple it to the back, cut off all this excess. And that's a reverse canvas. So if you've ever heard of oh, reverse canvas, it's been kind of popular on Pinterest. So if you've ever heard of it, that is why, and that's what it is. Somebody asked the other day in one of my, um, one of my cricket groups, somebody said, oh, well, why would you do a reverse canvas? I don't understand why someone would want to do that. Well, let me tell you. We went to Michael's on Saturday night, and I took my husband with me. 
which I normally don't ever bring my husband to the craft store because I really don't want him to know how much I spend. But this was really fun because they were having a huge sale and I wanted to buy a bunch of those wrapped canvases. And we also use those for photo canvases um, where you put a picture on and then you mod podge over it and it, it looks like a, you know, it was printed on a canvas for you and a, you really just spent $1.50 at um, Costco to get the picture printed and then you just put it on a cheap canvas. So it's really fun, it's really easy. So we, we went to get some of those for that and then some for my Etsy shop. And we were walking out and my husband turned to me and goes, did you just rob Michaels? Because the canvases are $10 right now for the large packs. So like the eight by tens, you get 10 of them for $10. 10 canvases for $10. It was so cheap. It was so cheap. I mean, we went, we walked out of there, we had bags and bags and bags of canvases and we spent, I mean, like a fraction of the price of what they normally cost because they're normally double the price. They're normally $20 for those, those large value packs. So it was just so funny because he's like, did we just rob off my home? And I'm like, mom, <laughs> pretty much. But I'm kind of waiting on that storage rolling cart thing. I'm kind of waiting to see if that goes, if that stays on sale. Right now it's 60% off, so it's $50. But I have a 25% off total purchase, including sale items, which is like the, you know, golden coupon at Michael's. If you get one of those 20% off or 25% off total purchase, those are like the best coupons ever. Um, but I'm wondering if they're going to keep that rolling cart at 60% off and then for just that one weekend, you can use that 25% off in addition to that. So I'm kind of holding off kind of, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So I am showing you guys, I just want to show you the difference between what we just did where it gave that kind of shadow look. Okay. And then I want to show you how it looks when we use the chalk couture transfer and I'm doing my, um, my sugar skull and we're not going to do all the layers today. We're not doing the layers. I just want to show you this one. I'm just making sure this is paste and not ink. That one. I mean, it would kind of just be a mess, but I don't feel like dealing with a mess this morning. So I'm going to mix this up and this is a brand new paste. And let me tell you, the consistency is phenomenal. I don't know if you guys saw me struggling with my white there. This consistency is not so great because I've had that one for a while and I've used it for a few make and takes. So it's a little bit dried out. This black one's brand new. It's nice. So nice. And speaking of make and takes, if anyone is in Maryland, I'm working with Michaels to actually schedule a make and take there. Um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of project we're going to do. If we're just going to do just a plain chalkboard or if we're going to do a reverse canvas or what. Um, but I am going to do a make and take at Michael's. So if you're interested, um, if you're interested, I'd love to know. Leave me a comment if you want to come to the make and take. It would be at the Michael's and Frederick. So if you're in Maryland and you'd be interested in going to that, just leave me a comment that says, yes, I'm interested, or I want to come to your make and take, just so I can kind of gauge how many people would, would want to come. Um, I had put a survey up the other day about days and times, and I think Sunday afternoons, like from two to four, seems to be like most people really like that time. So that's probably when it would be, although, if the first one goes well, I can always have them multiple different times. We'll see. We'll see. So, um, let's see. Ikea has better paper storage. Really? Man. See, we don't have an Ikea real close. I say we don't have an Ikea real close. Technically, it's like probably 17 miles from my house. But driving from um, Clarksburg, Maryland to College Park, Maryland would take like an hour and a half. So I don't ever go to College Park to that Ikea because it just takes forever. Like traffic on 495 is just terrible. But now that you say that, maybe I'll check out Ikea online and see about that. I appreciate the tip. Thank you very much. 
because yeah, I need some sort of storage because my office is a mess. Okay, look at that. So see how even and nice that is? And it was a lot easier to pull that transfer off than weed all those little pieces out of the other, out of the other transfer. So can you imagine if I did this with the, the stencil vinyl, all these teeny tiny little pieces would all have to be weeded out individually. This would take like hours to, to weed out versus the transfer, which you just peel it off and you're done that quickly. So I just wanted you guys to see, yes, yes, you can use um, your Cricut machine to make something custom. You absolutely can do that. Um, would I do that on a regular basis? I think it's too much work. But would I make another sign if, you know, somebody's going to Disney World and they want to count down to Disney? Yeah, I totally would. <laughs> I would do it for like, you know, if, a special occasion or something like that. I would definitely use this. I don't think it looks as nice. Again, see how that, like on the Y, it's kind of shadowed and stuff. Like, I don't think it looks as nice, but I would totally do it again. And now you know you actually can. Okay, it's the Alexa storage. Oh, you are awesome. Thank you so much. I'm totally going to check that out. Like, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to Ikea online. <laughs> so, um, all right. I think I've covered everything I had planned. I've, again, this table, if you could see all of it, it's just a mess. But um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Tag me if I don't see it. I will definitely see it if you tag me. Um, but I'm glad you guys joined. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you have a friend who you think would be interested in seeing these tutorials or learning about Chalk Couture, feel free to um, let me know, add them to the group, invite them to the group, or just share this video directly on like your personal Facebook page or if you have a business page, if you don't mind sharing this uh, video. And then that way your friends can see it and then they can join in and then everybody can have fun crafting with Chalk Couture because that's what it's all about. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I will talk to you guys soon and I'll see you later.